Now starting with classification of nerve fibers. Okay, so this is a clinical scenario question and this question is regarding the susceptibility of the different nerve fibers. So first we will talk about the nerve fibers. According to Erlanger and Gasser, nerve fibers are classified into A, B and C. And this A, B and C are again based on the myelination diameter and conduction velocity. That is A fibers are maximum myelinated as compared to the B and C fibers are non-myelinated. What about diameter? A fibers are thickest in diameter while the C fibers are thinnest one. And what about the conduction velocity? A fibers are fastest conducting as compared to the C, C fibers which are slowest conducting. So in conduction, A is more than B is more than C. In myelination again, A is more than B and C is non-myelinated. Diameter again, A is more than B is more than C. Now, if you see here carefully, A is again divided into A alpha, A beta, A gamma and A delta. Again in this, if you see myelination, then myelination is decreasing from A alpha to A delta. That is, A alpha is having maximum myelin in it. What about the diameter? A alpha is having thickest diameter. Conduction velocity is fastest for the A alpha. So, from A alpha to A delta, everything is decreasing. What everything? Myelination, diameter and conduction velocity. Got it? So, now let us see the characteristic of all these nerve fibers. A fibers, I told you A alpha, beta, gamma, delta. So, A alpha, remember they are having sensory component and motor component. This sensory component of A alpha is carrying information from the joint position sense which is nothing but your proprioception. So you can remember it like this, A alpha is having P in it, so it is for the proprioception. What about the motor component? Remember this A alpha supplies skeletal muscle in the form of alpha motor neuron, in the form of alpha motor neuron. Now what about A beta? So remember A beta it is pure sensory and it carries information of the touch, vibration and pressure. And in this vibration is B, so this is the A beta. Next is the A gamma, remember the A gamma is pure motor and it supplies to the muscle spindle where it regulates the muscle tone. So here you can remember muscle spindle, muscle tone is your gamma. What about A delta? A delta is pure sensory. And it carries information of sharp pain which is also called fast pain which is also called the first pain. It also carries information of cold temperature and this cold is D, delta is D. So, A delta is carrying information of the cold temperature. Got it? Now, let us see about the B fiber and C. Remember, these B fibers are present in preganglionic fibers of autonomic nervous system. It is very important. It is present in found in preganglionic fibers of autonomic nervous system. What about C fibers? They are found in postganglionic sympathetic fibers. Postganglionic sympathetic fibers are having C fibers in it. What about sensation? Remember C fibers are carrying slow pain that is second pain also called second pain and also the C fibers are carrying temperature sensation. Got it? So, these all are the characteristic of this A, B and C fibers. Now, let us see susceptibility of these fibers to the local anesthetic, to the pressure, to the hypoxia one by one. Starting with pressure. Remember, the fibers that is A, B and C, among the A, B and C, the most susceptible to the pressure is your A followed by B followed by C. It means A is most susceptible and C are least susceptible. Now, how to remember this? We know that under pressure, kids in nursery says A, B and C. This is nothing but your mnemonic. That is under pressure, kids in nursery says A, B and C. So, now whenever you get a question that due to pressure, which fibers are most susceptible, then you will write it as a A. A fibers are most susceptible to the pressure. Now, again, among A, which fibers are most susceptible? Among A, A alpha is the one which are most susceptible to the pressure. Got it? Now, susceptible to the hypoxia. They are B fibers which are most susceptible to the hypoxia as compared to the A followed by C. Now, how to remember it? We know that 
hypoxia in hypoxia what problem is there breathing problem is there so breathing is b so b fibers are most susceptible to the hypoxia got it now let's see the susceptibility to the local anesthesia it is b more than c more than a delta a gamma a beta and a alpha it is according to the millers miller says that b fibers are most susceptible to the local anesthetic while if you see the ganong ganong says that c is most susceptible as compared to the b followed by a but remember whenever you get such question just go with the miller got it that is if you get a question that local anesthetics affect which fibers most then you will write b not c got it now let's see how to remember all these that is b followed by c a delta a gamma beta alpha i have a very good mnemonic that is dance mnemonic for you local boys can dance garba okay so here local is your local anesthetic got it boys is having b so b can is c dance is d a delta g a gamma b a beta and a a alpha okay local boys can dance garba is your mnemonic for the fibers most susceptible to the local anesthetics now coming back to our question let's see the clues in this question one arm under his head arm is paralyzed pain sensation in it is still intact it means here the arm is under the head so pressure pressure is there which is affecting the nerve fiber so now let's have a look at the options a option is saying that more susceptible to the hypoxia no so it cannot be the answer now what about the pressure yeah pressure word is there in three options now let's see it one by one a fibers are more sensitive to the pressure than c fiber just try to recall the mnemonic under pressure kids in nursery says a b c so a more than b more than c and the option is saying a fibers are more sensitive to the pressure than c yeah it's true so the answer is b what about option c and d this is wrong it's saying c is more than a and b is more than a no it's wrong a is more than b is more than c for the susceptibility to the pressure now next question a man slept with head over the forearm next morning he complains of tingling numbness over the forearm and it is caused by again we know it is caused by the pressure so just try to see the options hypoxia no it cannot be the answer hypoxia no so now we are left with b and d and we know pressure under pressure kids in nursery says a b and c so the answer over here is b got it slowest conducting nerve fiber is now you know slowest conducting nerve fiber is your c fibers but in this there is no option c fiber it is given pre ganglionic autonomic nerve fiber no post ganglionic sympathetic fibers yeah c fibers are found in post ganglionic sympathetic fiber so here the answer is b got it now so let's have a break <laughs> 